Aston Palacht was duly rewarded for all the hard work and sacrifices he put into his fight against Jose Martinez on Thursday night, January 31, Friday, February 1, Manila time, at Viejas Casino and Resort in Alpine, California. Using his length and power, Palak decked the Puerto Rican twice in the second round and was going for the kill when the referee stopped the world junior bantamweight title eliminator at the 218 mark. In total, the 5'8 Palak needed only 5 minutes and 18 seconds to post his 21st knockout in 25 victories against two losses and forge a rematch with world boxing organization champion Donny Nietz, whom the pride of Bago City, Negros Occidental for to a split draw last September 8. Nietz went on to beat Japanese Kazuto Ioka by decision for the 115-pound crown in Macau, while Palak was relegated to a tussle with the erstwhile unbeaten Martinez, now 21-2 with 13 knockouts. Having blown his first title crack, Palak exerted extra effort in training under the guidance of former world champion Ruddle Mail. Palak spent Christmas and New Year training alongside many Pacquiao, who dominated Adrian Broner to retain the World Boxing Association welterweight crown on January 19 at Wild Card Boxing Club in Hollywood and celebrated his 28th birthday on January 25 away from his family. Now, Palak is just one win away from realizing his ultimate dream of becoming a world champion. That it will again be Nietzsche blocking his path towards stardom hardly concerns Palak who enjoyed a two-and-a-half height and four-inch reach advantage over the 26-year-old Martinez. For Palak, it's purely business. He'll have to tackle Nietz, who hails from Mercia, Negros Occidental, just 24 kilometers away from his hometown. Confident of his own punching power, Martinez opted to rush in in the second round. It was a costly mistake as Palak jarred him with a left uppercut. Palak then went on attack mode, landing straights, then a left hook to the body that eventually floored Martinez. Giving his opponent no chance to recover, Palak unloaded another flurry of punches, forcing the referee to stop the scheduled 12-rounder. 